Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video series, we shall be solving questions from on group theory. The questions I am taking from the book Contemporary Abstract Algebra, right? The author is Joseph Gallion. So here we have the first question starting with groups. It says that with pictures and words, we need to describe each symmetry in the group D3. Right? What is D3? It is a dihedral group. It is a set of symmetries of an equilateral triangle. So, uh, for the solution here, this dihedral group D3 that is obtained by composing six symmetries of an equilateral triangle. What are those symmetries? They are just the rotations of this equilateral triangle and the reflections of this equilateral triangle. So here we have six elements. One is R0, that means we are rotating by zero degree, right? Next is uh, R120, that means we are rotating by 120 because you see we are dividing 360 into three equal parts. So that means each part would have 120 degree rotation. So that would be when we rotate this triangle 120 degree, then 240 degree and then back to 360, which is zero degree, right? So these are the three rotations, rotation about zero degree, 120 degree and 240 degree. Because uh, at 360 or zero degree, we would be back at our initial position and the next rotations would be just covered in these two rotations, correct? Next, we have reflection. We may have reflection along any of these three lines. One is this line, one, of, one is this line, one is this line. So uh, let's uh, study each of the case one by one. So in the first case, when we are rotating the given triangle by zero degrees, so actually we are doing nothing to the given equilateral triangle. Right. So this was a triangle A, B, C. We are applying zero degree rotation to it. So ultimately we are having the same triangle with us. Right. So this is basically the identity of this group D3. Right. Next we have R120. So we are rotating this triangle about 120 degree in the anti-clockwise direction. So this B would come to the position of A, right? This A would come to the position of C, C would come to the position of B, right? Just one rotation. So this portion will come at this portion. So this is what we are having. We are having A here, C here and B here right and what about rotation by 240 degree rotation by 240 degree means we are rotating this uh, triangle 120 uh, by 120 degree twice right so first of all this b would come to the position of a then it would further come to the position of c so ultimately b from here reaches here right and this a would also move two places ahead. So it will first go to C 120 and then go to this position B after 120. So in total, we would have a 240 degree rotation here. So this A would come to this place and similarly for the C. So this is rotation by 240 degree. Now next, what can we say about reflections? So you see, we could have reflection along these three lines as I've told you this one, this one and this one, right? Now let's call the first reflection by L1. The operation is L1. So we are taking this line which passes through the vertex A, right? So here, if we are just folding this triangle about this line, so what would happen? C would go to the position of B and B would go to the position of C and A would remain at its original place. So this is what is happening. A is unchanged here. B and C, they are rotating itself. Why? Because we are taking reflection. So we are treating this line as the mirror and we then we are uh, looking at the reflection of this uh, triangle. So we have this figure here. This is the reflection along the line L1. L1 is the line which passes through this A. This is this vertical line, right? Next, we have reflection uh, uh, L2, which is along the line which passes through the point B. So here, if you treat this line as the mirror and you take uh, the mirror uh, image of this triangle, so basically in the image, you will see that A is here and C is here. So B would be unchanged, right? So 
that is why we have a here c here and b as such so this is the reflection by a line which passes through b similarly we have a reflection by a line which passes through c we are calling it to be l3 right so we have this line which we are treating this to be the mirror uh, the mirror in this mirror we need to look at the image of this triangle so this b will be uh, shown here and this a will be shown here uh, right in the image so and c would be kept fixed in the image so this is what we have as the um, final image so i hope you understood uh, what are the elements of this group d3 and uh, how they are forming the symmetries of this equilateral triangle well that is it for this video thank you for watching